Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Pseudo Elements tutorial. A CSS Pseudo Element is used to style specified parts of an element. For example, it can be used to style the first letter or line of an element or insert content before or after the content of an element. Let's look at an example where we style the first line of an element. In this example, we've used the first line pseudo element to style the first line of this text. See, we set it to a red color and it's in small caps. The way to add a pseudo element is to add it to a selector like this P selector, element selector. And a pseudo element always starts with two colons. So it's selector colon colon and the pseudo element you want to add. The first line pseudo element can only be applied to block elements like this B element. And there are some restrictions on what kind of properties that can be used with the first line pseudo element. You can use font properties uh, like font size and te most text properties uh, like word or letter spacing you can use color and background properties and clear for floating. You can also set the first letter pseudo element uh, to apply style to the first letter like this and like first line the first letter pseudo element can only be applied to block elements and there are some restrictions here too you can use the same properties as you can for first line but also margin padding and border properties and float but not word and letter spacing since it's just for a single character. And you can use both first line and first letter at the same time. So let's try and style both the first letter and the first line. Like this. And you can use pseudo elements with almost any kind of selector. Here we set it for uh, an element selector with a class selector, or we can just remove the class selector and set it for all P elements, or we can add an ID. and have the pseudo element apply to that. Like this. The before pseudo element can be used to insert content before the content of an element. Here we've used the before pseudo element to insert an image before each h1 element or that is before the content of each H1 element. We can also use it to add text like this. And you can use the after pseudo element to insert content after the content of an element like this. And the before and after pseudo elements can be used together. For example, to set quotes. open quote and close quote like this 
and on the W3 Schools tutorial page we list all the CSS pseudo classes and elements and there's a link for each class or element that goes to our CSS reference for that specific class or element. This concludes our tutorial for CSS pseudo elements. Thank you for watching.